<sighs> finally, guys, finally, we are live. I have been delayed for literally an hour. OBS was acting up, and then I tried to see if Stream OBS, Stream Labs OBS would be working for me. Got that working. Um, and then I ran into some more difficulties trying to set up my window lay, uh, capture. It just was bugging out, but I believe we're finally good to go. So hopefully we don't have any more complications tonight, and we can have a nice little stream here. So, right on. <clears throat> so, how are you lovely people this evening? What's up, Leo Killer 900 How's it going, bro? So, today, we're going to go ahead and just kind of build up our account a little bit more. You know, play for an hour or two to see how far we can get. We're doing a lot of um, the side quests. Because I am rocking my new account right now, so I need to get it in tip-top shape. And as you can see, I've got my Destina to level 39, Ross 27, Mercedes at 21, and I am, of course, already on my farm mode with Mega Phantasma at level 27. So, already on day one, we're getting her done. We're already at rank 17. You know, we got quite a bit of stamina still to go. I could probably pick up more with Leafs. Um... Yeah, so we're just going to have a, a, a real chill stream, listen to some tunes here, and uh, hope you guys enjoy. Feel free to join in the discussion, ask me any questions you may have, and uh, we'll have a good old time. So I'm definitely trying to like hardcore get through this as quick as possible, because I am like, like I said, I am several days behind. I finally just got done doing 9, 7, and 8. You know, you gotta grind that out on course on normal difficulty, and then we'll work our way forward. I'm not sure why we can't go to this one. I've already completed the other ones. Oh, that's right, that's right. Duh. We have to actually go back here and complete this one more time. I don't know why they set it up like that, but they did. Very weird. Anywho. So, back to Eulogy for a Saint frustration that's exactly how i felt for the past hour with obs trying to get the stream working wow this map is actually perfect for how i feel <laughs> you could not have just made that any better perfect name so leo killer how are you doing this evening i, don't, I see we have quite a, we have a few people in the live stream here but nobody's talking Hmm. All right. And there is no echo, right, Leo? If you're still watching, there's no echo or anything like that going on. There's no, like, uh, la latency issues either, like no lag, right? I just want to make sure that the stream is working as intended. <clears throat> I was trying some new techniques here with um, my stream setup. That way I can actually have you guys... The chat right next to me on the same monitor instead of on the separate monitor so I don't gotta like look over every time you guys message I'm doing all right how are you doing I'm doing I'm doing just amazing <laughs> having a good old time here farming up a second account for epic 7 um, man did I mess up my first one do not want to do that again so since nobody's talking, I guess I'll keep talking. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm wanting to do with this account, kind of like I said in my last video, um, I made a lot of errors. I did start with my main account with Sez, but then I was like, you know what? I don't want to run Sez anymore. I want to run um, Destina this time because I feel like Destina is a good free-to-play account setup because she allows you the comfort of being able to run non like board clearing units like says because she can continuously keep healing with like every move she does pretty much and the cooldowns really are not that long on her and that's by default that's without that's pre-awakening that's pre um you know skill enhancements anything like that so she's just a really good unit to build a free-to-play team around because she allows you that freedom says did not allow me that freedom now says is amazing don't get me wrong. I use says. I love says. I would recommend says to anybody. Just an amazing unit. But strictly free to play account speaking, when you get into later game content, yo, what's up, bub? When you get into later game content, you'll have this issue where says just no longer fits that role that you need him to fit. B 
because you're going to be taking on a lot of hard bosses and you're going to struggle because Sez was never really designed for boss combat. He was built more for taking out the hordes, which he does that job better than anyone. But it just does not help you as a free-to-play because as a free-to-play, you have to put a lot more investment into that Sez to make him work for you during that boss fight. You're pretty much forcing him to do something he wasn't designed to do because you're lacking in other areas of your, of your account because you are free-to-play. So I just feel that, I mean, of course you could get to that point as a free-to-play. It would just take a long, long time. You would have to manage your resources. And unfortunately, I didn't do all that properly when I first started with my original account because I was new to the game. A lot of us were new. We didn't really have just a laid out, you know, clear path to perfect success, you know. At the time, we were all kind of just play testing this and that, seeing what worked and what didn't work, uh, making a lot of five stars we probably didn't need to weren't prioritizing resources in areas we should have and you know push comes to shove eventually if you do that with an account you're gonna have to make your account more pay to win um you know pay to play rather you know you're gonna have to start wailing out or at least spending some kind of money to kind of fix and make up for all of your errors but since i didn't want to do that because i want to stay free to play um, as much as possible, I decided to just go ahead and make a new account. We'll start with Destina this time around, and we'll build up a bunch of DPSers around her, and maybe even throw Elson into the team when we unlock Kim, and he'll be a good support unit. He'll be able to buff us. Destina will be able to heal and be a good tank herself. Um, so now we're getting good use out of two units. Now we got two dual threats. We got a unit that can tank and heal, and another t a unit that can tank and buff. So now all we need to do to fill up the team is to run a couple DPSers. We need either like a Lorena, we're going to need a Tyria, we're going to need a Karen, a Terran or Guard. Also fits a dual role. He could be a tank and a hard hitter. Um, you also have units like God Axe, which is actually going to be getting a specialty change, which I can't believe he's getting a specialty change because he's already amazing. Um, but he's, he's supposed to be getting one as well. So it's like you got a lot of options, especially free to play options, because a lot of those are three star free, uh, really hard. I'm sorry, easy to get units because they're not natural five stars, so they're easier to summon. So, you know, as soon as we get a couple of those to put on the team to replace Ross, to replace Mercedes, which in my opinion are just both bad. Ross is good, I'd say, for most of normal difficulty on story. But after that, he completely loses his value. But him being like the main character of the game, I'm assuming he will probably get a specialty change in the future or some kind of special enhancement to make him good again. Or, or to be good really for the first time because, you know, he is the main uh, plot point in the, in the entire game. So I'm assuming they're going to do something with him. It's just right now, you know, Ross will eventually run out of his usage very, very quickly. And that's when you want to definitely swap him out with somebody like Lorena, for example, which is also a free unit that you can get, or Tyria, which is easy to summon, Karen, you know, all the other options that we gave you. So that's what we're going to be planning on doing with this account to try and push it to the next level. Um, hi, good luck on your new account. Yo, thank you so much, Ryan. Josh, how long is this stream? I don't know yet, Leo. I'm going to try and go at least an hour or so. It depends how many people show up and uh, if you guys get bored. <laughs> Armin is a very good tank though, Leo, not gonna lie. I mean, his full barrier for the party is very, very nice. <laughs> Armin is bae. <laughs> What's up, Jackstar? I mostly wasted my rerolls and I'm starting to regret it because I'm free to play with no 5-star characters or higher and my characters are like 30 and above. Well, Bub, I'm gonna be honest, if you're not very far in the game, go ahead and reroll again and try to get a 5-star. Otherwise, depending on what three and four stars that you're currently using on your team, you can actually get by in this game without a five star. You just have to manage. You just have to manage your resources and, um, you know, use them, utilize them correctly. Build up a team and stick with that team. Don't keep swapping around armor because that's going to cost you gold. And, you know, after a while, you're going to start running out of gold really quickly in this game. And you're going to need every ounce of gold you can get. So, you know, that's just a little bit of advice there, a little tip there. Um, if you don't have a healer, hope the goodness that you can pull a, a unit like a Chadis. That would be a great four-star to pull for you. 
great healer, one of the best healers in the game, because Aether is just, ugh. You know, ugh, that's all I can say about it, you know. <laughs> Not a good unit at all. Um, if you don't have a healer, then you're going to need a really good tank setup. So you're going to have to, like, definitely rely even more so on Elson to be your healer slash buffer. Then Elson's role is going to be even more important for you. Kra, Basque, Rickaris, and Cecilia. I can agree with most of that, Kaneki. I can definitely agree with most of that. Craw is an amazing tank. Absolutely. He can take a hit and he can dish it out, especially with his ultimate after you use uh, Arky, which is the first garden that you unlock in the game. You pop that sucker and then you get an attack buff from Elson and then you hit Craw's ultimate. He can literally, no lie, just decimate a, bo a boss's health bar. Not even going to lie, especially if you got him at a six star full investment. Um, he is going to be amazing. He's going to take a hit like a tank, and he's going to hit like a truck. Um, Basque, I was working on him as well. Uh, Basque is also... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. We don't want to redo that one. We don't want to redo that one. Oh, I hate... I hate that you can't just back out. Ugh. Quality of life adjustments, please. <laughs> Dang it. We got to go all the way back in here. I did not mean to go back into that map. But, um... So... Basque, I was working on Basque on my, other, on my old account. Um, I actually got him to a 5-star. I was definitely investing in him. He's very, very good. Um, him being able to basically debuff, like take all buffs away from a boss is amazing. He's amazing for Hunt. Like, you put Basque in your team for Hunt, and wow, he's going to do wonders. As for Rickerus, I never had any experience with him, so I can't really say anything about Rickerus. I also had Cecilia. Cecilia is very, very good. I feel she's more of an attack tank than she's a defensive tank. I mean, she definitely has the tanky ability. She can definitely survive a lot of hits. She can even survive ultimates in PvP. But I feel like uh, between the two of her and Kra, Kra definitely has the better tankiness. But I think she has the more damage output. And what I mean by that is she can attack with several several of her moves and hit pretty hard, and she has AoE damage, while Craw necessarily can hit with all of his moves. However, his biggest move is going to be his finisher, except it has a six-turn cooldown. Now you can enhance their skills to make the cooldown shorter, uh, you know, which is a possibility. But if we're purely just talking about who's better at probably just damaging. Damage wise, I would say Cecilia probably has the edge just because she can do constant damage throughout the battle, while Craw is the guy that you send in there and just does the finishing blow. But Craw is definitely the better tank between the two uh, in terms of defensive, um, I guess, defensive value, I guess you could call it. But yeah, I'm not sure about Rickris, so I've not had an experience with him, but I'm sure I've seen him in some YouTubers' videos. I, I, I know he's good. Any idea when the Craw banner is coming out? Who Kinect, you have no idea, honestly. Um, Craw's banner was was like was talked about, I believe, on the Smilegate's Twitter feed, like their official Twitter. But then they came and gave us DN instead, so I have honestly no idea. Not in a million year, laugh a lot. Oh, that would suck. We'd all be dead. We wouldn't get to see Craw, Craw's banner. <laughs> we'd all be dead and old but well we'd be dead for sure we'd be old rotting our bones in the ground somewhere like dinosaur fossils but yep <laughs> i just can't wait to get through the side story to get it kind of catch myself up to get prepared for when the rest of it unlocks i believe in a few days um i want to get to that point i really want to pr uh, proceed through story a little bit tonight in stream as well see if we can't get at least uh enough sky stones and maybe do a possible half multi or something like five or six summons see if we can't pull a tyria or a karen to replace our ross and uh mercedes because soon as i get two more units that i need and elson that's pretty much going to probably be my team for the rest of the account for a long period i mean of course if i pull something absolutely amazing down the road like in a moonlight summon that would replace one of my characters like if i pulled axe god or if i pulled kisei um, or Moonlight can. I mean, let's be honest, that's not going to happen. But if it did, then of course they're going to replace somebody on my team. But outside of that, that's pretty much going to be the team I'm going to stick with when I do get those characters. Like, if I pull Tyria, 
She's going to go instantly on my team. I'm going to take her all the way to six star. And that's just the way it's going to be. That's just kind of how I'm going to go. And then I'm going to rock the count as is. But I got to wait to get Elson still. And of course, two more DPSs. And I'm going to definitely keep Destina. I'm going to I'm gonna go hardcore on Destina. I'm going to make her absolutely the best I can. Because she's going to be very important to how I want to do my team setup on this account. OP Undead. <laughs> I have Tyria, Cartuja, Raz, and Missy Chain. Oh, nice, bub. So, Tyria is the only one worth out of all of that, <laughs> bub. The only one worth all of that. Raz, uh, Missy, uh, and Cartuja is probably one of the worst. One of the one of the worst four stars. Now, if you get Moonlight Cartuja, then you're talking some good stuff. But regular Cartuja, nah, he's. He's more like Gartuja. That's what they should call him. Garbuja. He's a Garbuja. He's garbage. What should I use my Golden Keystones on? Um, I would go with the Moonlight Summon. Like, it is very tempting to go for the guaranteed 4 or 5 star. But I feel like there's way more value in the Moonlight Summons, to be honest. Yeah, call him Garbuja. Yeah, you've heard that here first. You heard that here on, jo on the Josh first, man. It's Garbuja. <laughs> Man, I got guided Aether. I got rid of that. Oh, man. Connect Kaneki, dude. Oh, I feel bad for you. I feel like when I do my Moonlight Summon, it's not going to be great either. I just... I don't know if I'm going to get lucky like I did on my last account and pull another God Axe. Like, if I could get something like that or better, I'd be ex just ecstatic. I'd be happy about that. Can anybody tell me how many uh, people is watching right now? I kind of got my window covered up where it says how many people are watching. Which is a rip on me. Well, actually, let me take a look. Oh, I've got 17 people. All right, cool. Not bad. Not bad. Not, not a bad crowd for a non-Yu-Gi-Oh uh, game. Not bad. Especially at this hour of night. I know a lot of my audience is from North America. And it is a school night, a work night. It's like 11.30 p.m. So I completely understand where a lot of people probably are right now. They're probably sleeping. But I do appreciate you guys that are here. <clears throat> I had Sigrid on a Covenant Summon on my first account, but I restarted for a reroll and I regret it. Ah, oh. rip. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's just going to like bounce between 15 and 17. That's good. That's fine. That's good. I honestly did not expect even to get 10 people tonight because of how late it is in the day. But you know, I do appreciate you guys. Um, if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Yeah, it's 8.40 p.m. in California, yeah, the West Coast. Um, I'd probably have a lot more people if this was like a Friday night because, you know, a lot of people's off work for the weekend, no school, all that good stuff. I'll be happy with any Moonlight that's on my top 10. My first Moonlight was Challenger, Dominiel. I was so happy. Oh, nice. That's a great pull. Well done. Well done. I didn't, even re I didn't even realize if we three-star those other ones because I like to make sure I three-star everything in the side quest because I hate going back and doing them again. Please tell me. Oh, no, we're at the hard part. Well, it's not hard. It's just very boring because we got to go to all of these side areas and beat them multiple times, I think. Well, no, wait, no, we don't. No, we don't. I forgot because it was only for the other side. So, actually, we're, we're good to go. I just want to go back and double-check, make sure we three-star everything here. Okay, three star, three star. Everything is three star, I do believe. Yes, awesome. All right, cool. We don't got to go back and do those again. All right, let's go to 14. So far, so good with this throw together crappy team that we're rocking. I don't mind it so much. Like, I, I just can't wait to get rid of Ross and get rid of Mercedes. Oh, cannot wait to get that filth off the team. And I gave Mercedes a lot of praise. I mean, she's not terrible. She is usable. You can get some use out of her, but after a while, you definitely need to put her on the sideline. You need to put her on the bench. Until you pull Celestial Mercedes, then you got the good one. That's the one that you put in your team. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, JR? Haste is near to pull for some people out here. Haste is rare to pull. Oh, rare to pull. Oh, okay, there. I got you. It's going to be Wednesday, my dudes. What's Wednesday? Cross Wednesday? Is that what you're saying, bub? You, you. 
see here my philosophy right now is I'm not even trying to get another five star on this account right now I honestly don't care about another five star I'm actually going for the three and four stars I, pro I probably sound crazy right now saying that but I know the value of the three and four stars in this game and I know some of them are even better than the five stars so for me I'm going into this a lot differently with a different mindset than I did the first time around I'm like you know what no I don't care about five stars if I pull one awesome if it's a good one it's better than what I have I'll put it on the team but what I'm really after are the three and four stars I want Tyria right you know I want Terran or guard I want uh, you know Karen Karen is so good I love Karen a lot of people don't talk about Karen enough I think Karen is just very underrated um, her possibility of getting a a, a basically a damn near guaranteed second attack off is just amazing you know kind of kind of kind of like what Sid can do oh yeah and by the way it's another unit I want my pulling Sid one of the best PvP single target attackers in the game Sid is amazing oh look guys we're at 18 now woo we are uh we might get to uh rank 20 in day one on day one I'm actually happy of that, you know, getting from rank 0 to 20 in one day, plus with all the hours I spent re-rolling before that, all in one day, guys, whew, putting in some work today. <laughs> Kyrus, I, it, I'm not really a big fan of Kyrus. I know what Kyrus can do. She's a good boss killer, but it's like, I don't know. I felt like when I had Kyrus before, I invested a lot into her, and then I felt like when I got to, like, chapter 6 or 7, a normal story, I just stopped using her, and I never used her again. You know, it's kind of like, eh. It's just like, I just felt like I completely lost uses for her after a while. Is Rin good? Anik, I don't think she is, because I pulled Rin on this account. Spoiler alert, I did do, uh, like, 12 or 13 summons, which I will have that video up tomorrow um, on this account. And I did pull Rin and a couple four-star artifacts, so spoiler alert. <laughs> But um, I pulled her, I looked at her skill set, and I was just like, mm, she doesn't seem that great. So I actually took her out of the team and just threw Mercedes back in there. So the fact that I took her out and put Mercedes in should tell you all you need to know. Funny thing, you can imprint uh, Celestial Mercedes with those things you mentioned, the crack thing. Yeah, JX Star. And here's an even cooler thing you can do, JX Star. You can actually feed all those um, imprint materials into your regular Mercedes. And then if you ever pull Celestial Mercedes, you can put this Mercedes in, and use her as an enhancement material for Celestial. And she'll get all those imprints. She'll get all of them. So it's, it's very, very cool that they did that. I am very happy that they did that. Um... So that's, that's something cool. A little tip for you if you didn't know. I love how the game gives me notifications on people getting 5-star artifacts and characters. And I'm here getting 3-star artifacts 99% of the time. Ah, uh, bub, I feel you, man. <clears throat> yeah, the stack Poison Light Skin is very good for Kyrus. But I feel like she gets completely outclassed by a lot of the other units when you build them up. Like Tyria, for example. Um... Specialty change, Lorena, God Axe, Karen, stuff like that. I feel like they just completely put Kyrus to shame after, after you get them built up. And then you start noticing that Kyrus's poison stacking just does not do it as good as the other units, if that makes sense. But Kyrus early game, no doubt. Awesome. Very, very good. Yeah, Lorena is very OP. Especially when she gets a special to change. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> so we're doing so pretty good so far. I mean, I know we're only on normal difficulty, but we have a very, very crappy team. And <laughs> my Mercedes doesn't even have any armor on her. I think Ross just got some random stuff thrown on him. It's like... There's like no enhanced enhanced uh, equipment on him at all, and I think Destina is rocking just some good armor. I think I might have put a couple pieces of rare on her, but that's like all the armor I have on this team. And of course, I'm still trying to level up this um, Phantasma. 
I'm going to have to level one more up after this as well. I'm trying to really prepare to get Destina to a six star very early on. Um, if I happen to pull a Tyria or something else of a big DPSer before I get to that point, I may make them a six star instead and hold off on six starring Destina. I don't know. We'll see how the cards play out. Petition to be able to use penguins in battle. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the specialty change quest is a little bit ridiculous. I will agree there, Lightskin and Leo. I know, right? It's impossible for me. Um, on my other account, I was playing this game for three weeks. And the drop rates for me for to do the actual missions that you need. Because you needed to do 50 of those special missions. I was at like 22, 23 when I finally just decided to make a new account. And... I was doing side quest where uh, you actually got a star rating, which means they counted towards adventure, and you could get the side and you could get the um, special quest. Quest. I never got them to drop. They just never dropped. I would go, no lie, I would go two, three thousand stamina, and I'd get maybe one, one to drop, blowing through all the stamina that I had all day long. Just I'd get one to drop if I was lucky. And they wanted me to do 50 of them. I'm like, bruh, why? Why did it have to be 50? Why couldn't it have been like 25 or 20? <laughs> but 50? Come on, man. Oh, man. Axe God, though. Here's the thing about Axe God, though, Leo Killer. Axe God is already super amazing, even without a specialty change. So, the fact that they're giving him a specialty change is just mind-boggling. I'm sitting here trying to think, how OP are they going to make the Axe God? Like, oh my goodness, because he's already absolutely amazing. He's almost on par with Lorena for boss killer. In terms of what he can do to a boss, he's almost on par with specialty change Lorena already. And they're going to give him a specialty change? Like, wow. Insane. Absolutely insane. I do hope that they give a lot of the bad units though a specialty change. I do I, I do hope so. Or at least give them an actual buff. Like a statistical buff. Or a skill buff or something. Because there are some units in this game that are just literally trash. You look at what they can do. You pull them and you're like, yep, that's going to be 3 star or 4 star fodder. Because it's that bad. <laughs> there are some units in the game like that. Who's Axe God? It's the Ilarus of Axe or whatever his name is. I always say it wrong. He's a he's a Moonlight Summon. He's a dark character. He's a three star. He's a guy with the big old axe. Has no shoes on. He's barefoot. Drop rates for rare catalysts make me cry. Oh man. Alright, I'm just sending everybody a friend request until I have max friends because I need them. Let's see here. If you guys want to add me in the game, um, it's uh, Josh vs. YT. Actually, let me just go back to the lobby so you can just see it right here on screen. Yep, look up there top left. That's my username if you guys want to add me. Josh vs. YouTube, YT. There you go. Cool. Got some reputations here we can fill out. Yay! for weapon charms boy I saw a weapon earlier today for 720 million dollars I'm like seven or I'm sorry ten, uh, 720 million gold I'm like looking up at my like measly 1 million and I'm just like yeah that's wow <laughs> not gonna happen not going to happen 720 million gold for one piece of armor no thanks yeah, the guild is in packed. I don't know if we have any space available, but if we do, you can look us up and join us in there as well. We're at level 10 because it is my old guild. I made one of our uh, fellow Discord members the guild, one of the guild leaders, so I could leave and bring in my new account and then re-add myself. So that was cool. So we were able to keep our guild intact. Level 10, baby. So we do got to do these. Uh, I thought I, th I was like I was thinking back when I did it on the other account. If we had to do these or not, but we do. Oh, I hate these. Look at this. 
Uh, you gotta, I gotta beat like all of these like 15, 20 times each. Like, bruh. Bruh. Why you do this to me? <laughs> Why you do this to me? Oh, man. And, and of course, this has like no artifacts that I even want. So, I mean, that that's a big rip. Oh, boy. Here we go. I hope you guys got something interesting to talk about because we're going to be in this dungeon for a while. Oh, I just haven't got to it yet, Gray, to be honest. I was just been so behind. I had to do a, I had to do a couple leak videos today for Duel Links. I had to do a new event for that. Um, I wanted to get a video out talking about my new account here for um, Epic Seven. I did a, a summon video, but that'll be posted tomorrow. Which, if you guys were here earlier in the stream, you already kind of heard about a little bit what I pulled in that. Nothing great. I got a couple uh, level four artifacts, I think, and then I pulled one level four character, which was Rin. Sadly. Um, I would prefer that have been Sid or Karen, but hey, it happens. <laughs> but um, I don't, we'll definitely jump off of the side story here in a little bit, and then we'll go back into adventure, see if we can't get a few more Sky Stones, maybe do a few summons here in stream, see if we can't pull something good, and then we'll probably end it there. So I'd say we're going to stream for Baby about another hour, um, maybe an hour-ish or so. So if you guys... Are having a great time. I hope you're there until then. <clears throat> we only have two spots left in the guild. Man, it's getting pretty full, Leo. It's always full, to be honest. The Goblin Merchant has equipment 340 million. Like, where are we really going to get that cash? I, I know, right? Kaneki, like, Kaneki, we're never going to get that. We're never going to get that. Kaido, Angelica over Destina. I guess it's, it, well, it really depends on what your usage is for Angelica and Destina. Destina does give you that healing and then that that purse that a uh, you know single ally combat readiness I feel is very very clutch especially if you like pair her up with uh, Elson and um, or or DN just very very clutch combo but yes Angelica is also very very amazing so is uh, Achatis another good uh, healer as well for sure I sent you a friend request off aloud. <laughs> Epic Seven is the only game I have of its genre. How big is this game? End Ranger, it's how honestly how big is it? It's like what is it? A couple gigs probably. If I was to guesstimate, I think it's a couple gigs, to be honest. I'd say a couple gigs or so. Somewhere around that region. Should I get six star to Armin or Ka uh Kra. A hundred percent Kra Excel Dog. A hundred percent. Armin is great, but Craw is the best tank in the game. So, Craw. Go with Craw, no doubt. Oh, how big is the player base? Oh, man. For some reason, this game is taking off. Ever since it went global, it, it's it's everywhere. Um, the Reddit hates me for some reason. I think they just hate YouTubers, to be honest. Uh, I made a discussion video today, and they took it down. They said that they, they they said that it was lack of quality content what i was like um what they said they had many reports on my video and you guys saw my video i did a discussion video it was just a discussion video talking about me uh why i created a new account i gave you guys some tips and hints of you know what you know why i did it why you may want to do it as well uh what to look out for they told me that they had reports on that video and i'm like what reports and they said they can't specify. I'm like, bro, why is Reddit so cancerous? Why? Like, what is Reddit's problem? Like, it, it's no joke when people say that Reddit is the cancer of the internet. They're not joking. It, it, I, <laughs> I've seen it firsthand. It's crazy. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. I'm going to keep posting videos there because I will be honest. I have a I've gotten a lot of new subscribers from the Reddit from some of the really decent people from Reddit because Reddit as cancer as it is it definitely does have a lot of actual genuine people who are looking for youtubers are looking for content on their favorite game that they're playing they're looking for guides discussions just general gameplay and those are the people that I released a video for people can downvote my video a million times they can say the stupidest things ever 
I really don't care because I, at the end of it, I'm still getting people to come from Reddit to come over here, check out the channel. They're subscribing, and those are the people that I care about. So I thank you guys very much, especially if any of you in this chat are actually from Reddit. So that's awesome. But yeah, man, Reddit is some kind of special beast. I don't, I don't know what's going on over there. It's been like that for as long as I can remember. It just YouTube and Reddit just does not go together. It just, it doesn't mix. <laughs> it doesn't mix. <clears throat> yeah, Dark, this is the global version, yes. The global server, rather. I just run with the reroll. I'm looking for guild. Ah, oh, I see. I gotcha. <clears throat> What's with the hate on people who spend money on the game is whales. Like, where did the dispute come from? Um, what do you mean, delight? What, what's your What's your question? What are you asking? I don't think I interpreted that statement correctly. Are you asking me what a whale is, or or why people are calling them whales, or? Are you asking why some people are hating on whales? Um, Dark, if we have any room, you could try, but I think you have to be at least a level 20 to get into our guild. The only reason I'm back into my own guild is because I had to make a new account. But you have to be level 20, sadly. But we, uh, we remove people all the time that are inactive. So if you can't get in today or tomorrow, there's still a chance. Just make sure that you join us in the Discord below in the description. And ask myself or Fort Misery Gaming um, when you are level 20, and we'll see if we can make some room for you. I see. Is this game on Steam? No, 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 not yet, Enrager. There is no uh, PC port yet. They may make one soon, though, because they know a lot of the player base is on emulators. So they may do what Duel Links did and actually make a PC port, which would be actually pretty awesome. Um, I would totally be down for that. So we'll have to see. I need name change. <laughs> yeah, when you do a reroll after 1 4, you're pretty much locked into that name. And if you want a new name, or if you want to ever use that name again, you can. It's it's gone. It's locked in that account forever. Yeah, you could do that light skin, Josh. Absolutely. I think there's like, what, a 24 hour wait when you leave a guild? Is that in this game? Because I actually never left the guild and tried to rejoin another one. So I'm not actually 100% sure. I know on some other games it's like that, so there may be a wait time. I don't know, but if there is, I'm sure we can make an opening for you because, like I said, we always get a few randoms that join the guild. They're not as active as we'd like them to be because we'd like to have people at least active once every 24 hours to 36 hours. At least just jump in and do some of your dailies, you do your weekly guild quests. That's all we ask that you do. Nothing crazy. Um, and, but we get some people that just like completely do nothing and those people get, you know, r removed. Is there a Discord on Android or only in PC laptop? Uh, you can download Discord on Android as well, Dark. Absolutely. Just go down the Discord app uh, to get the mobile version of Discord. And then join our link in the description below after you've made an account. And then you'll be good to go. And then you can use the Epic, Sir, uh, Epic 7 channel or you can even talk in global or uh, general if you want. It doesn't matter. Yeah, there's a 24-hour wait. Okay, Misha. It makes sense. A lot of games do it. I hate that they do it, but... Eh. I guess they just don't want people jumping. I guess they want to punish you for leaving a guild. I guess. I guess that's what they're trying to do. It's like, hey, don't join a guild and just leave it. Because, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know why they do it, but... That's the only thing I can think of. It's just to punish the players for leaving a guild. Yo, what's up, Zane? How's it going? see here hey we're up to almost 30 people wow you guys are coming out coming out living love tonight i like it nice guys nice getting some love tonight i feel so special <laughs> so for those of you who are just joining in how are y'all doing tonight oh our hero inventory has reached its limit we gotta arrange man we got to arrange i'm gonna have to expand it at some point but uh, do I even need Mega Phantasm I can feed some of these into? Okay, good. 
I got this one. I don't have very many Mega Phantasms because I just started today, so... Well, this account anyway. Let's see if we got any more. I don't think I do. Ugh. Ugh. You know what I do with this? Because these are so easy to get. I know a lot of people will hate me for doing this. But this is honestly what I'll do. Wait, wait till you see this. You're all going to be like, why you do that, bro? All right, let me get out of here. Go back to the lobby. Wow. We need a lobby button. Just click. I should have just clicked home. To be honest, I should have just went up here and clicked home. All right, so we're going to go to hero, transmission. I know a lot of you are like, bro, don't oh don't don't get rid of Helga. That's a good three star fodder. No. Give me back my three star fodder, bro. These are so easy to get. I yeah, this is just how you clear a quick space. It doesn't give you much gold, but it's a good way when you're just farming nonstop and you don't have anything to feed into it. This is just what I like to do. Is this what you guys do? Is this something that you guys do as well sometimes? Just to get a little bit of cheap gold? I wasn't paying attention. I just got rid of a random crappy three-star. Now I want to jump off of a bridge. <laughs> was not paying attention. Looked over at the chat. Turned around. I was like, oh, rip. Rip. Don't do what I just did. Oh, man. That could have been a quality three-star fodder right there. Man. Yep, rip. All right, let's go back in here now that we got some room. But yeah, those those two stars like they they drop like hotcakes. You could get, you could get probably 50, 60 of those two star monster drops, and in a couple hours, maybe three or four hours, every day. It, it's ridiculous. I don't even know why they even have them in the shop to pay. Like, was it like 50, 60 grand to get one of those, or 30 grand rather? I'm like, why? <laughs> you can get those all day long for free. You do that to Terry all the time. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, that sucks though. That's a, that's a that was a that was a three star fodder that I was saving up to turn a, a unit into a four star. But rip, <laughs> rip. That's what happens when you're trying to sell sell units on stream. Not a good idea. The re roll I got are Tyria, Angelica, Sid, and Rose. Oof. Oof. So you didn't get no five star dark, but man, oh. Boy, did you struck you struck gold though, dude. That's a tough one to actually ignore, Dark. Like honestly, I know you didn't pull a five star, but you got Tyria, Angelica, Sid. That is three amazing uh units right there. That is, that's a team right there. And you got Rose. I mean, right there you go. That's your four-man team right there. Throw Rose in there. Throw Angelica, Sid, and Tierra. Boom, there's your team. And then as soon as you get uh, Elson, maybe re replace Rose with Elson, and you're good to go. Put Tierra and Sid in the front row, Angelica and Elson in the back. There you go. That's actually a crazy good start, to be honest. I know you didn't get a five-star, but... Dude, like, wow. Tyria, Sid, and Angelica, like, wow. Whew. Talk about a, a pull. <laughs> I'm still re-rolling so much, I don't know why I sent help. <laughs> no problem, Dark. Zane, you do it for fun. Yeah, he's re-rolling for fun. I don't know why. I don't see the fun in re-rolling. Uh, I mean, I guess it's fun because you're gonna you're constantly summoning and when you're playing a gotcha game And you're always summoning it is it's a fun feeling. It's a fun feeling to know like oh my god What am I gonna pull you know the like I feel like that's why people play gotcha. We know we're gonna get screwed But it's the fact that there's that unknown element that that mystery factor to it that you could pull something amazing out of nowhere and when those moments happen, you become the happiest player in the world. Like, when you just completely are just down on your luck, you can't pull nothing to save your life. And then out of nowhere, you get that 5-star, or that SSR, or that LR, or that, um, 
GSR or, or whatever they're called and all the other different gotchas. And you pull that and you're just like, wow, I can't believe I just did that. And it's just, it's it's a, it's a an amazing feeling. It makes all that that frustration worthwhile for that one moment. It's just, it's a great feeling. Yeah, it's glorified gambling. Exactly. Exactly. Rerolling gives me depression when I get nothing. <laughs> a lot of, yeah, we can all relate to that. It's even worse if you're a, if you wail out in the game and you get nothing. That's the lesson that I learned a long time ago in Dokkan Battle. I used to spend a bunch of money to keep summoning on Dokkan Battle, hundreds of dollars and get nothing. That is a feeling that I never ever want to experience again. What if you pull Kise ML Ken? What is your reaction? Dark, um if I pulled if I pulled Kise or Martial Artist Ken, I I would just um I'd probably break your ears. Your eardrums would shatter. Um I'd sound like I didn't have any balls. Things would happen. My anatomy would be questioned. <laughs> My anatomy would be questioned. My sexuality would be questioned. A lot of things would be questioned. That's all I can say. That'd be the equivalent of me pulling like an LR on Dokkan. Like, yeah. <laughs> just freak out, you know, break every glass near you. <clears throat> My main has three natural five. I just don't have any fun with it. Ah, oh, Zane. Square Enix had to pull three games out of European countries due to reclassification of gotchas gambling to minors. Yeah, Kronos, I've seen that, and I I don't know, man. I feel like that might make its way over here, so a lot of these games may need to start, you know, adjusting the way they do things. I think if they adapt a system like Duel Links did, where it's technically a gotcha, but it's a gotcha with a guarantee... Like you're all if you summon enough or pull enough, you're gonna guarantee get everything. If they do that, they can actually get around the gambling aspect, because then it's no longer gambling. Because now it's gonna be considered an investment. If you invest enough, you will get everything that you've put in. You will get it eventually. It's not gonna be no longer randomized RNG chance forever. It's now gonna be, hey, if you spend this much or use this much currency. You will get that item. If they do that, then it'll be fine. Kind of like with the banner they have right now with DN. If you do 120 summons, uh, you're guaranteed to get her. Or 121 summons, technically. You're guaranteed to get her. Um, if they do something like that with all of the, um, the banners, then they would probably not have that issue. I just made the worst deck ever in Duel Links. Want to see it? <laughs> in Grand Chase, if you summon 200 times, you get to pick an ESR in a game. Yeah, Henry. Like, that's cool that they did that in Grand Chase, to be honest. Like, I, I would love to see them do that in Epic 7. I feel like they need to make the summons a little bit lower, though. I mean, 120 summons, 200 summons. That That is a lot. And that resource that you get may be endless, technically. If you log in every day and do your dailies, you can get endless Sky Stones. But... Just think of how many you have to save up to get to that point. Like, are players going to stay around in the game for that many months just to do that many summons to get that one character? I just, you know, you're basically encouraging people to hoard their stones and wait for a good banner, which is not good for a company that needs to make money to keep them afloat. So I think they need to probably adjust that system in the, in the near future. Um, to, to something a little bit different. Like maybe guarantee a four star or higher every 10 summons or every 20 summons. That would be good. And it's not going to break the bank. You're still not like giving five stars away like hot candy. You're merely just giving people some kind of compensation, some kind of reward for going into every banner that, you know, that they release. And it encourages sales. It encourages a healthy player base, happy people. Are ha you know happy players is a happy game, so maybe if they do something like that for at least four stars, I think everybody would be happy. <clears throat> we 
we're up to 35 people, guys. Wow, we actually gonna hit 40. If we hit 40 people on a non-duelings game, that's gonna be absolutely amazing. Cause for for those of you who are joining in, if you look around my channel, it is it is literally 90% Yu-Gi-Oh. We're trying to change that a little bit by introducing new things on the channel. So if we could hit 40 people watching a non-Yu-Gi-Oh video, that would be insane. That would be an accomplishment. That'd be something to be proud about tonight, <laughs> to be honest, especially at this hour of the day. Wow. <laughs> the top reward we get is 1 million gold. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. I don't even know how many runs of this we've done yet. I, I know we probably haven't done enough. We're getting a lot of useful uh, fodder equipment, though. Which is nice. You can use low uh, low tier fodder to upgrade low tier fodder. But if you start getting like high tier fodder, then you're better off just selling the low tier. Let's actually see how many we have. Let's uh let's go back here and see how many we gotta still do. Okay, so we gotta do one more run of this, and then we're gonna probably go through all the 17, and then we're gonna leave the side story, take a break, and not do 16 at all tonight. We'll do that off off stream or something. So we'll do the rest of 15. We'll do 17. And then we're going to hop into some story mode, see if we can't get a few more um, Sky Stones, do a few summons, and then wrap the stream up. So probably about another 45 minutes to an hour, guys, that we'll stream for. But I do appreciate you guys being here and hope you guys are enjoying. And if any of you are new, consider hitting that subscribe button, liking the stream if you are, and all that good stuff. And don't forget to join us in the Discord below either. Get the conversations going before and after the video. <clears throat> and if you guys by the way if you guys do like Yu-Gi-Oh um, if you look at my community section of the channel I kind of post like I'll either post polls there or, or I'll post announcements there um, if you look I'm actually gonna be streaming Yu-Gi-Oh TCG for the first time on the channel tomorrow at 1 p.m. we're gonna be playing Yu-Gi-Oh Pro 2 if you guys are not sure what that is and you're curious you can check it out but that'll be at 1 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. So if any of you are curious or interested in that, that'll be tomorrow. And then I think I might go back and stream Epic 7 again on Thursday? Yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday, right? Yeah. So on Thursday is probably when I'll be back again with another Epic 7 stream. So I'm going to try and, like, I'm trying to balance out my content here. I'm trying to go between Yu-Gi-Oh, Epic 7, maybe throw in a couple anime reviews. And then that'll kind of be the majority of my content throughout the week, at least for the the near future. So hopefully I can satisfy everybody. Trying to. It's a lot of work. Very tiring. We need some gems off aloud, yeah. <laughs> Opinions on story. Um, this the story for Epic Seven, Zane. The deck is 3 DD Assailant, 3 Wind Up Juggler, 3 Warm Worm, 2 Amazonas Princess, 2 DD Warrior, 1 Amazonas Heirloom, 3 Drowning Mirror, 4 Super Powerful Rebirth, and 1 Amazonas Onslaught. Wow, Ron, are you trying to tilt the world, my boy? That's a deck that I'm proud of. <laughs> uh, good job, Ron. Good job. I hope you're uh, tilting a lot of people. Destina, you're finally level 40. 10 more levels to go. My goodness, I swear the grind to level, um, if you're trying to like level up a five-star character on normal difficulty, you really, really can tell how long it really takes to level up one time. It is a long, long struggle. Whew, let me tell you. And then it's like you swap it to world difficulty and you just look like every few matches. Oh, look, I leveled up again. I leveled up again. It's, it's so crazy. Go ahead and use Arky. I love Arky. He's such a good guardian. He's my favorite guardian. Like, even when I had when I was on my other account, I never used any of the other guardians. Did you guys ever use like main the other guardians, or were you always just using Arky? Because I just feel like Arky is just so good. Because he's a low-cost soul to summon. He gives you Guardian's Blessing. And if you combo Guardian's Blessing with Elson's attack buff, oh my goodness, you're your your uh, team is hitting extremely hard. Oh, 
Oh, that was our last run of that dungeon, I do believe. I used the other ones. Which one do you use, Leo? Do you use the second or the third one? The one that costs five souls or six? All right, so we're going to go do 17 now, and then we're going to go back into story. We're probably going to do some uh, equipment. Equipping. <laughs> that was weird to say. After we do this one as well. So I can start trying to boost up my uh, combat power a little bit. Before we jump back into story. That way we don't have to keep stopping and doing that during story. The five soul one. Oh okay. I, I know which one you're talking about. You used the last one right now. So you used the five star one as well Kronos. Yeah the skill cooldown reduction. Yeah that's the one that Ford always tells me. He, he likes that one as well. School, uh, skill cooldown is pretty clutch. I can see that. <clears throat> thanks for all your help for the guy. I rather love the videos. Ah, thanks so much, Slug. I appreciate it. Don't worry. As long as you keep making videos, I'm going to keep watching and liking them. <laughs> yeah, bub. I see you on, like, on every video now, man. I'm going to have to give you a like every video you're on just because you're on every video. You're usually one of the first comments, too. You're amazing, boy. Guys, we're at 39 viewers. We are one away from breaking 40. That is absolutely insane. You guys are awesome tonight. Absolutely awesome. <clears throat> so, Heat Simicus? It's just a weird name. I'm going to have to look at some of the lore on some of these names. I really want to see how in-depth Epic 7 and Smilegate actually took these names. Like, how literal... Because I really, I like, I, after the stream, I'm going to go look up the word Simicus, and I want to actually see if it's anything that describes what we're seeing on our screen. Because if they went that deep in the lore with their story building, that's awesome. I appreciate a company that actually does research and builds a game, like a game world, based on actual real, like, fiction. Like, I, I love that. I love that. I love when they actually put, like, real life lore into a game, because it just makes the game that much better. And by the way, let's take a vote. I want you to say yes or no in the chat right after I ask the question. And the question is, do you guys want to see an Epic 7 anime? I absolutely do. I feel like it would be amazing. <laughs> I just feel like yeah, see the majority of you are saying yes. Zane, did you say no? What? <laughs> the Reddit chose the name, so Oh man. Had to think about it. I would love to see it though. I just feel like they would do such yeah, I mean it just looks so good. They could even use the same type of character designs, the same world building, and all that. Just take it right from the game, take it right from the cutscenes, throw it into anime, give it to an anime studio that they trust to handle it, um, and, and then let them go. Because I just feel like it would be amazing. I mean, the storyline, if you follow it throughout the game of Epic Seven, it's it's interesting enough to be an anime, um, for sure. Like I could just see it. Like, you have so many interchangeable parts, you have so many things going on, you have so many good identifiable characters that you can make a nice backstory for. Um, I, I could see it. I could I could totally see it. Like, when I think of this game, I feel like, mm, man, you can make the world, like, the world of, Ma like, the world of Magi. You know, the anime Magi? Oh, like, that's what I think of when I see this game. Um, and if you want to put, like, a more serious touch to it, it could be, like, somewhere between Magi and Goblin Slayer. Like, you know, where Goblin Slayer is, like, hardcore serious, like, full in-depth, you know, nothing is censored. What would happen in real life in that situation, you're going to see on your screen. But maybe tone it down a bit so it's more, like, mainstream anime, shonen type of stuff. So then you could go more of the Moggy route. If they could somehow put those two together and make an anime, oh, oh, sign me up. I would do weekly reviews of that anime, no doubt. But it should be 90% fan service, just like Fairy Tale. <laughs> just like Fairy Tale. That's what Fairy Tale is 90% fan service. Lucy and Urza, every episode, I swear. Yeah, 
Yeah, chapter 9 is pretty dark, especially the second <clears throat> side story about Frederick. Yep, yep. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of dark tone of this game. A dark tone of this game for sure. Like, they could make a really nice, just very suspenseful anime. Very action and suspenseful heavy. I could see it. And I would love to see it. <laughs> Maggie. Maggie. Aladdin. Our boy Aladdin. Who had to defeat Solomon. Solomon, sorry. Solomon. The OP version of Aladdin, not that crap that Disney gave us. <laughs> he wasn't rubbing no lamps, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Aladdin 2 OP. I mean, he has the power of Solomon, which is basically like the god of the Magiverse. So, I mean, it makes sense. Aladdin is pretty OP. He is pretty OP. Man, how many how many dungeon runs have we done today on the side story? To be honest, I want to. Oh, nice! We got a twisted thing. Woo hoo! Wow, we're already working our way to getting Yuna on day one, baby. <laughs> Man, that's that's a good drop though. On a normal difficulty, that's pretty good. So. I accidentally went too far. I wanted to see how many we've done. We're at 185 items. We're not getting anything for items in this dungeon, but let's go ahead and pick up a couple um, bookmarks here so we can summon a couple times here later in the stream before we end it. So let's go to exchange. I got so much stuff to do on this account, so little time. But let's go ahead and pick these up real quick. I picked up one earlier. We have, what, 65 left? Can I get anything for that? I can get a lesser artifact, I guess. Anything else up here I could pick up real quick that I could use now? Nah, that's pretty much it. I could honestly pick these up. I may need these. There we go. I'll just grab those for the moment. Yo, what's up, Max? How's it going? Yeah, Sinbad. Sinbad is also pretty OP. With all of his requips? Ugh. Sinbad. I even watched like the, the spin-off anime for just Sinbad, like his story. Oh man. Sinbad is a beast. Alright, let's see here. So we wanted to go in here real quick. I just wanted to see how close. How many did we do? We've done 48 runs in the side story so far today. That's not too bad. 48 runs. Probably do 50 a day and then I would get this done in by the end of the week yeah i could get this done by the end of the week not bad so if i do 50 a day yeah it's not bad we're getting there honestly i mean this is just day one so hey but <clears throat> i want to get out of side story for a bit we've been in there for like an hour now i think so let's just go in here see what all we could do leveling up wise with our equipment see if we got anything better i don't think we did to be honest uh no no we didn't do we get anything in here? Honestly, what am I doing that for? Let me just look at my inventory. Click all. So, no. This is just a bunch of fodder. So, that's good. That's cool. Let's just try to uh, enhance these all as much as we can. We can always use them as re-enhancements for better tier weapons later. I just want to get these. I want to get her as high as I can. Go in and do some dungeon running and story. Yeah, see, we're barely getting EXP now. We're getting to the point where these are not just these are not going to do anything anymore. So that one's done. Uh, let's enhance these. Okay, we might be able to enhance this probably a couple more times. Maybe we'll see. All right. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. Nah. Now, this is where you stop. That's just where these become worthless. Alright, so that's done. Let's go to these ones now. Don't want to get rid of that T2 so, uh, defensive weapon. That's one of my better weapons right now, guys. <laughs> Beginner game love. Alright, we gotta go one more just to get that little bit. That's ridiculous. Unless we get a good. Oh, we didn't get it. Alright. So that's where we're gonna stop with that, too. 
Look at this crappy weapon. Look at this crappy equipment. <laughs> All right. Yep, tier two armor, man. Because you, we're just gonna turn around and flip it and put it into our other armor when we get better armor. What is this game? Too many lollies? <laughs> no, there's a lot of older women in this game. Save the gold. Um, well, I won't be able to progress any further if I don't do this, though. I have to do it. It didn't cost that much gold, to be honest, either. Remember, they cut gold down by 40%. Remember that, Excel. Remember that. But now what I like to do with these pieces of armor is I'll actually feed these into the better version of themselves. So... I'll feed the plus 14 into whatever new, you know, HP weapon that I get for her. Same with the helmet, the armor, and the boots. They'll just get fed right into that piece and probably take them up to like a plus 5, plus 6 easily for the ones down here. And probably a plus 7 or 8 for the ones up top. So, I'm reinvesting what I've already used for the most part. So, you can recycle. But if they get to the point where you're putting in 5 pieces of armor and it's not even budging, then don't use them. Then, then that's when you just sell it. So since I don't have anything worth a damn left here, and I've already pretty much leveled up all of her armor, we can go ahead and sell the rest. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Sell. Auto select. Uh, everything there. Yep. Gonna make 33,000. So we, we just made a majority back of what we just spent. Not bad. Got her up to 12,000 CP. Not bad. Let's go. Alright, adventure time. That's a good show on TV. <laughs> so are we done with two? I think we are done with two. All right, we're done with two for now. We didn't three star everything though. We're at four now, I believe. Yep. We are on four, two. All right, let's go. Taking on a lot of ice types, which is not good for us because we're running two fire. Oh shoot, that Mega Phantasm is maxed out. I didn't realize. Uh, I guess we'll stick Ren in because I don't have anything else to be honest Yeah, I'm not putting in Rima Helga Aether Misty Just a bunch of ugh. a bunch of uh Oh, I could start working on Basque. I could throw him back there There we go. We'll do that Bam Level another phantasm Mmm, that's true. I could do that. I could do that. We'll do that right after this match. I think I do have one more Mega Phantasm, so I, or I, yeah, I could throw one in there. You're right, you're right. No problem, bub. See you later, man. Thanks for coming out, though. She looks pretty, hum pretty, hmm? She looks pretty, hmm? What's that mean, Mycrov? What does looks pretty, hmm mean? <laughs> Are you thinking about it or something? <laughs> Goodbye, Bulk. You'll be missed. We'll have to bulk you up, Bulk. I definitely gotta get some armor on Mercedes, though. Mercedes and Ross, I definitely gotta get them some armor. Cartuja, you're such a terrible four star. Why were you created? Poor lad. Hey, we got a tier 2 uh, armor. I'll take it. We're going to have to start just putting some random armor pieces on Mercedes, though. She has nothing. She's she's completely naked. Uh, in the equipment sense, not, not the literal sense. <laughs> Dang slime. Grab another chest. I cannot wait till they, they add like the autopilot thing uh, or the assistant or whatever they're calling it to grab those treasure chests to activate your um, your heal altars, to activate your mana altars or soul altar rather. That's going to be awesome. When they do that, that's going to be great. Cartuja, king of the raccoons. <laughs> Maybe he can join Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Cartuja, 
next in line to join Guardians of the Galaxy. He's going to be a new character in the MCU. Coming to theaters near you, 2019. Ready for Cartuja? Let's go. Cartuja ain't going to let Thanos snap. He's going to snap. He's going to snap Thanos. That's what Cartuja is going to do. Yo, level 19. We are getting there, boys and girls. We are getting there. Oh, rip. What did I forget to put in? Uh, we'll come back and do all those later. All right. So I got to put another... Um, I got to put another Phantasm in. Before I forget. Uh, another Cartuja. I don't really care, to be honest. Manage team. I think I had one more. Oh, I got two more, actually. Awesome. All right. Throw you in. Bam. Cartoon or Cartuja, son of Galactus. <laughs> Is there any slot in your guild? Need a guild now? I'm level 25. Um, I have no idea, Dark, because I'd have to check right after this match, man. If you remind me, I'll let you know. I'll go take a quick look. You can actually look for yourself. You can. I think it actually shows you on the guild list how many we have currently, and we have open app application. So you can just click apply, and if we have room, it'll let you join automatically. Just search for the guild called Impact. With a capital I. Impact. One word. Go take a look. See if we can let you in. You're only here for the lolly. Jeez, Macrov. <laughs> Love how she juggles. <laughs> Macrov, you're killing me, bro. You're killing me. This isn't... <laughs> You must be talking about Mercedes. <laughs> you have to be talking about Mercedes. Yes, that, that's the name of the guild, Dark. It should be level 10. I think he's talking about Mercedes light skin because he said juggles. I know what he's talking about. Things we will not mention. <clears throat> Ravi is the best <laughs> There you go, Ross. Doing your job as a tank, man. Tanking them hits. All right. Play a couple PvP matches too. Burn up our PvP uh, uh, tokens. There you go. Phantasm. That's right. Earn your place on the team. Nobody slacks around here. I tell you what, though. If they do give Ross a specialty change, he could be low-key really, really good. Because he is pretty good for low-tier to medium-tier content. Like, he could get you through all of normal story if you invest into him. Make him a five-star. Awaken him three or four times. He can actually get you through normal story difficulty all the way up up through 10-10. But after that, he completely fades out. So if they could, if they do give him a specialty change, which I think they will at one point, uh, at some point, because he is the main character of the story. So I'm assuming he'll get some kind of boost. Um, he could low key be pretty good. I don't have Ravi uh, Makarov, so I can't show you. Cannot show you, man. <laughs> oh, Nani. Let's go and use our Arky. He, he's our boy. Oh, here we go. That's Macross's favorite part. That's Macross's favorite part. He just got excited. He had to go step away for a moment, guys. He'll be back in 59 seconds. <laughs> he, had to go to, he had to go to take a potty break. Give him a specialty change. Yeah, that'd be nice if they did. That'd be I'm like low key. Like I think that he would be pretty good with specialty change. It would depend how they how they change them up. But I feel like if they if they upped I say I'd say if they upped his third skill, he'd be really really good. To be honest, I think that would be enough. Just up his third skill. Maybe give him additional buff or some kind of additional debuffing. Any he, and he's good to go. All right, let's go to the next one. We are on 4-4. Four, four. 
We're at 399 Sky Stones. All right, now we're at over 400. So we're going to definitely be doing a few summons here at the end. Normally, you want to save up 950 to get that, you know, to save 50 Sky Stones and to get those free penguins. But we are streaming. It's the first stream of the new account. We're going to splurge a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and do some summons before the stream ends. So don't worry. So if you guys want to see a few summons, stick around. How long have we been streaming for here? Whew. One hour and 15 minutes. So I'd say about another 15, 20 minutes. Depending on how far we got, that's when we're going to do our uh, a few summons. All right? Sound fair to you guys? Stick around for another 15, 20 minutes. The time it takes to heat up a pizza. <clears throat> Oh, don't hit! Don't hit Macrov's favorite character. Don't don't hit his girl. Macrov, do you see how they disrespected your woman like that? <laughs> do you see how he just disrespected your woman? The shame. The stout svout or whatever you call that thing has no respect for women. Now I'm in the mood for pizza. Daniel, I'm in the mood for pizza now. To be, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yes, Henry. You know what's funny, though? They over-sexualize the women, and they, like, make a lot of the guys very unmasculine. A lot of them are, like, super skinny or just very bland. Have you guys noticed that with the male characters in this game? They've made a lot of them, like, very bland. Here we go. <laughs> Who is your best waifu, guys? Oh, Jesus. I wanted to download this game now just because of... <laughs> All the juggles, Macrov. <laughs> Macrov wants to download a game he has knows nothing about. He does not even know what's going on. But the man is so enticed by the the jiggling, the juggling going on on screen that he's enticed to download the game. I think that is the reaction, Macrov. You are the perfect, you are the perfect type of person to play this game because you literally are wanting to download a game because of the jiggling that's it that that is your sole purpose to download this game i think that's what smilegate was going for they're like you know what let's make a game who cares how much it costs who cares how grindy it is as long as you can watch things juggle on screen it's worth downloading the game <laughs> right cross one of the only buff males yeah crawl crawl they, they definitely made him look like a tank for sure He's the Dwayne The Rock Johnson of Epic 7. Or Vin Diesel. Two good examples. They give you her for free when you make an account. You know what? It's starting to make sense now, Light Skin. It's starting to make sense now. It's all coming together now. I think we know why they did that. <laughs> it's to keep you it's to keep you enticed to keep playing. I came to the stream because I heard about the chickle. <laughs> uh, we got light skin, light saver, or light shaver. I'm not going to ask you why you're called light shaver. I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> How do you unlock that juggler? <laughs> oh, man. Man, Mercedes, you're getting a lot of attention. I might have to take Mercedes out of my team. She's getting... She's kind of making the chat a little bit edgy. Mercedes, you got to calm down on the jiggling. You're making the chat go wild. Corvus Buffus male. Oh, man. Does that get trippy on you guys? 
I, the one levels like this always get me trippy because I'm always used to my characters being on the left side of the screen and then when they get flipped around I'm constantly looking on the left thinking that that's my team for some reason and I'm why, wondering why they're so low in HP have you guys ever had that problem have you guys ever just sat there and looked and then when they swap you on the screen you're like oh wait why is my team over there low in HP I've done that so many times If you take her out, I will unsub and report you. <laughs> show Silk some love. Yeah. Yeah, light skin. I'm going to have to show my craft Silk. We'll have to do that. In a, remind me before we end the stream. We have to show my craft Silk. We'll go, we'll go to the connections panel and we'll let him see what Silk looks like. That way he can compare and contrast the two. See which one's his favorite. I don't even play X7, but I've been watching a lot of videos because the art style and animation looks so good. It's appealing to watch. It, do it does. It does indeed. This is probably one of the more well-polished uh, animation and art-wise gacha games I've ever played. It's pro it's really a toss-up right now, honestly, between... I would say Grand Chase does look really, really good, but I don't think they're quite to the quality right now as Epic 7 and Dragalia Lost. I think those two games have kind of separated themselves from the rest of the gacha genre, well, especially for anime games um, right now in the mobile market. I just feel like they are just absolutely stunning, almost flawless, almost. There are a few little here and there's, but for the most part, very, very good. Watch out, he's a boy. Aether is a trap. He, he, yes, he is, indeed. Have you guys seen Aether's cinematic scenes when they do the CGI cutscenes and stuff like that? They make him look so much more like a girl than he should ever be. <laughs> I mean, they go really, really in there to make him look like a girl. And it kind of makes me a little bit nervous. I'm like, okay, who, at, who in the development team, who in the art team... At Smilegate, decided to make Aether look so feminine. Why? Why was that a thing? What was their main goal there? That's what I want to know. Maybe I don't want to know. <laughs> you fine. We almost lost that one. I wasn't even paying attention. We were really low. Um, good thing I started using Guardian because. Whew, that was almost rough. Got those fodder armor pieces. A couple more uh, second grade ice awakening medals. We got an urgent mission for the first time ever. All right, where's this one going to take us? Let's see. Get out of there. Ah, too bad this urgent mission isn't counting for Lorena right now. Ugh. All right, so they want us to go back here. All right. We'll do it real quick. We'll do an urgent mission. I like it when urgent missions drop... Um, Terra Phantasms, I believe. The the gold ones. Yes, Terra Phantasms. Or when they drop uh, level 2 or 3 um, penguins. Those are also very, very good. See, having Destiny here saves me from having to use gold to heal up. It, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. A wonderful feeling. Destina MVP right now on my team. Well, obviously. <laughs> I don't know, though. I don't know, though. That Phantasm has been putting in some work now. We got to give him credit where credit's due. The boy's been putting in some work. I think this is the only one. We, we level this one up and then we'll get our free uh, Giga one. I don't know why I said Terra earlier, by the way. Terra is the, the purple one. Giga is the, is the gold one. I think Aether was actually supposed to be a girl, but then they changed their mind to make him a male. Maybe they just forgot to draw the uh, the chest area. Maybe that's what they forgot to do with Aether. They just forgot to draw a chest, and they're like, you know what? Let's just put in her description that she's actually a guy. It saves us a lot of time instead of having to go back and redesign a character. Maybe that's what they did. Maybe that's what happened to Aether. It was, it was a girl. They forgot to give her a chest. 
and they said you know what it's gonna cost way too much money to have an artist come in here and redo this let's just write in the description instead of she we'll call it a he bam <laughs> I think there was concept art of female either. <laughs> Haste a trap too. So many traps. So many traps. Um, if we can switch skin, then maybe. <laughs> what are the names of those three lollies? Uh, which one's Makrov? Wh which one? Wh which three? I did apply twenty-two out of twenty-four. Accept me later. Thanks. It should have been. It should have auto accepted you, I believe, Dark. I'll have to take a look. Um, just remind me when we're done doing story missions. Just remind me before we do our summons, and I'll definitely take a look. But I'm pretty sure we had it on auto applications, auto accept. But I could be wrong. But I could have sworn we did. Someone typed her, and she and the staff confused because they saw no chess and corrected everything to be male. <laughs> Hey man, it could, it could have happened. It could have happened, to be honest. Because believe me, Aether is really too convincing of a female character. She she is, or he is, or if, it is. Let's just I'm just gonna call it an it, because we have I don't know what it was supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know what it was supposed to be, but apparently it's a male now. It's a male now. Alright, so how close are we to level 20? I didn't mean to go to reputation. That was a, a, mis, a misclick. Let's go back down here to friends. 14 friend requests. Whew. So we are at 26%. So we're actually nowhere near 20 at the moment. Um, I don't know if any of these are you guys. I have no idea. These received ones. We got a level 54 Karina. That's got to be somebody from here. There's no way people that high are adding me. I know JR Woe, uh, Zygot, I know Kronos, says Fu. These gotta be some of you guys from in here. <laughs> Show him silk? Yep, I will indeed, light skin. Um, are these any of you guys? I don't think any of these are you guys, are they? If they are, let me know. I'm Zygot, okay. Uh, I think I already added you then. Yep. I am says foo. Says foo, says foo. Did I already add you too? I think I did. So I think I added you guys then? Uh no Macrov, you can't really customize your characters outside of equipment and awakening. It's pretty much it. Equipment's pretty much where you where you go for customization. So alright, cool. So I don't know who these people are, so I'm not gonna add any of them. Cool. Alright, we got you. Cool guys, that's right. Um, so what we want to do now? Oh yes, I want to show. Uh, I want to show this to Macrov. Let him compare here. Macrov, here you go, my boy. Here you go. What do you think? Silk or Mercedes? Take your votes now. Type M for Mercedes. Type Type S for Silk. I'll make haste to rep so you can use the trap. <laughs> oh my god. So you've guys seen Mercedes for like the last two hours. Is it is it is it Mercedes or Silk? That's the competition right now. Oh okay, so Macrov has still decided that Mercedes is better than Silk. Alright man. Hey man, you can't go wrong either way. I mean, let's be honest. Show Luna and Kisei. I can't show... Well, I guess... Hold on. All right, hold on. Hold on, my crop. I'm about to blow your mind, bro. I'm about to blow your mind. Uh, where is my... What was I doing? I'm having a brain fart. Oh, yeah, I'm going to the journal. I'm like... I had, a, like, a legit brain fart just now. I'm like, what am I doing? Like, legit. What am I doing? All right, here we go. All right, Macrov, you ready to, to just lose your mind right now, bro? Are you ready to lose your mind, Macrov? Please tell me you're ready. I don't want I don't want to go in here if you're not ready. You need to tell me you're ready. 
Are you ready, Makrov? Are you ready? Your mind's about to be blown. You're about to see things you've never seen before. You're about to experience an outer body experience that you will not understand even after today. Are you ready? I think we killed Makrov. I think after he saw Silk and Mercedes, he was done. I think he's out for the count. Oh, there he is, Makrov. He says, bring it. You shouldn't have said that, boy. You shouldn't have said that. All right, let's show you all of them here. So we got Isaria. Boom. Isaria. There you guys go. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Then, we, of course, we got our, our girl, Desina. We got Desina. And, and then we got uh, Tenebria. There you go. If you like wild and out of control, there you go. <laughs> I don't really know her personality. I was just talking out of my ass. Um, here's the trap that everyone's been talking about. Yes, Makrov, that is a guy. You are looking at a guy right now. I think it's a guy. It, I think. I mean, they say it is. Hey. Don't ask me. Ask Smilegate. They made it. <laughs> I didn't do anything. And there's DN, one of the newer characters, you know. There you go. There's DN. Uh, we have Alexa. There's Alexa. All right. So that is all of them. For oh, no, we got some more down here. We got Maya. There's Maya. They gave Maya a little bit of a upper hand if you know what I mean they uh <clears throat> let's just say that my the the bit the thing that <laughs> the weapon that Maya is holding isn't the only thing being held on on that body <laughs> all right we got Lorena Lorena one of the most powerful entities to grace us in the epic seven universe can you rotate? No, we can't rotate. That'd be too. That if they if they had a rot rotating characters to this game, people would be in the hospital. Got a Chadis. There you go. You lolly fans out there, I know you sick bastards are out there. You got Clarissa. There's Clarissa. We're gonna speed this up. We got Angelica. Um, probably shouldn't stare at Angelica too long because you're going to go to jail. So, just to give you guys a heads up. Trying to keep you guys out of trouble. Uh, got <clears throat> Mont Morency. There you go. She should probably be wearing black clothes because she looks like a nun. Like, she literally... It's like she's wearing white clothing, but the style of a nun. Very weird. You got Jenna. There's Jenna. She's wearing those tall leggings, you know, for those people out there that are into that kind of thing. You got Hazel. Hazel probably should stay away from anywhere that has upskirt wind. Uh, we got Karen. Karen's amazing. Karen's probably one of the more clothed characters in the game, to be honest. She's like, you know what? I'm a badass. I don't want you staring at me. I'm a badass. Stare at, stare at me, not my ass. Stare at me. I am the badass. That's what she's telling you right now. She's got that sword ready to go. She's going to cut you down with that katana. She ain't playing on no games. Then we got Judith. Judith looks like one of those girls you just walk up to and be like, Hey, girl, how you going? And then, you know, two seconds later, you're on the ground holding your throat as you're bleeding out. Why is she staring at you with a maniacal, twisted look on her face? Just staring into your soul as you take your last breath. That's what she looks like. She's like one of those characters. She's all cute and cuddly until you get close and then you're you're on the floor dead. There's Azalea. I'm not even sure what that is. I'm kind of nervous. Is that a trap too? I better take a quick look here. Okay, it says she. I think we're okay. It checks out. It checks out. It checks out. <laughs> you gotta be careful in this game. You gotta be careful. All right, you. No, that's the wrong one. Uh, you got Cerulea. Jesus, I didn't even know Cerulea had that much baggage. Jesus, she going away on vacation? <laughs> I 
I hope we don't have any girls in the chat. I feel so bad for you. Uh, how did this? How did this stream turn into this? Who started this? I blame Macrov. I blame Macrov for doing this. Um, we got carrot. Carrot could use a carrot. Okay, we're done. All right, we're gonna just skip. We're gonna go past carrot. I said too much already. Um, we got Rin. There's Rin. Dude, Cerulea, like, no, look at, Cer like, what did they do? What went wrong? Did somebody, when they were modeling, or when they were designing her, did somebody accidentally click enlarge? <laughs> did, so <laughs> did somebody go into Photoshop and enlarge it? I mean, like, what happened? <laughs> Jesus. I don't know if we're going to top that. I don't think that can be topped. There's Armin. Oh, man. There's Armin. Very cool tank. Very, very good tank. We got Clary. Looking like an awesome, like, Amazonist warrior. This is too much, Makrov. All right, Makrov. I told you you couldn't handle it. Are, are you tapping out, Makrov? Do we got to stop? Are you tapping out? Are you finally... Are you done? Did we win? Did we beat you down? Is that GG for Makrov? Can he not handle it anymore? I think we beat Makrov down. I don't think he can. I don't think his heart could take it. Oh, he could. Oh, he still says he's gonna keep going. <laughs> There's Celeste. All right, we're gonna kind of speed these up though. There's still still a few to go here. We got Tyria, one of the best characters right now in the game. He's asking for more. There's Tyria. I didn't know this is gonna turn into a female showcase video. What happened? What 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 went wrong? Is what is Rima again? Is Rima what is Rima? Tell me that's a guy, please. It's a she. I, I can't I can't take it. When I look at this and then I look at Aether, you're telling me that this is a she. Like, I I, mm -mm. I can't take it. My my heart cannot take it now. I can't take it anymore. There's Charlotte. Got her version of the Buster Blade. Cloud would be proud. For you Final Fantasy fans out there. Uh, we got Kali. There's Kali. She's another one of those wild child. Probably just put you on the floor and cut your throat and watch you bleed. She seems like one of those types. There's Silk. You guys already know Silk. We've already said hello to Silk. Hi again, Silk. Blonde and blonde and dangerous. There's Kiris. It's like a downgraded version of Silk, but still not bad. Uh, you've got got Mercedes. We've seen Mercedes for like the last hour plus. Makrov loves Mercedes. That's his girl, I guess. We got the Ravi, which is a female wearing barely anything. That is probably the most almost naked character in the game. She is literally got clothes hanging on by a strap. Literally. Literally hanging on by a strap. Like, if you want to talk about clothes hanging on by a thread, look no further than Ravi. Like, what? <laughs> you got Sigrid. She looks like a school teacher. I would not mind going to her class. I would actually pay attention for once in school if she was my teacher. Um, <laughs> it was Phyllis again. Phyllis is a guy, right? I'm pretty sure he's a guy. No, it's a she too. Okay. Got to be very careful in this game. You got to read the descriptions before you start thinking weird things, guys. You got to be very careful in this game. This game will make you question yourself. It'll make you question yourself. <laughs> Otili. There you go. How do we ha I like how the viewer count went up when I started doing this in the stream. Come on, guys. <laughs> Here's the trap. Here's another trap for you. That is a guy. That is a guy. So, 
if people out there were like, mm, man, I like Hayes, she looks pretty good. Well, you just said a guy looked good. So you may want to question yourself. There's another she. I'm here for educational purposes. There you go. It seems legit. <laughs> There's Wanda. I pulled her in my last account. Was not happy. Um, I was like, oh, cool. She's a Moonlight level, level 3. Cool. Let's go check her out. And found out she's like garbage. <laughs> so I was a little disappointed, but she looks pretty cool. Easy on them eyes, man. She's got those majestic blue eyes. She'll lure you in and then shoot you down. Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, if you're into furries, I mean, we got a nice collection of dogs and raccoons or whatever they are that Cartuja is. If you guys are into that kind of thing, you weird people. Um, if you guys like dingoes, if you're Australian, we got some dingoes for you. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, got Dominil. There you go. Dominil. If you're into rabbits. <laughs> or whatever she's supposed to be. Uh, let's see. Land of Death. Man, there's so many. My god. <laughs> Araminthra. She's a one-legged wonder. So, yep. She'll probably be easy to please because, I mean, she's... Obviously seen a lot of action. I mean she's missing a leg for crying out loud. She's definitely been on the battlefield She's a woman with experience We got Carmen Rose if you guys like demon hand demon claws I mean if you're into that kind of thing that could be some kind of fetish. I don't know about I mean, I'm not gonna Google it, but if you guys want to there might be a thing for demons I mean, I don't you know, hey, she is a red hair redhead. So she's probably wild, but I Just don't know if I would want to you know, have her touch me. <laughs> All right, we got Misty Chan. Another one of those. If you're into demons, you know, there you go. Another demon for you. Uh, we got Pearl Horizon. You know, another demon for you. This demon's a little bit more plump. They they gave this demon a little bit more of a personality. A couple personalities. There you go. Uh, Gloomy Rain. I mean, she looks sad. She looks like she could use some company. Um, I just would not shake her hand or do anything with her hand or ask her to do anything with her hand. Because you would probably become Aether. <laughs> If you got that reference. And then you got uh, Requiem Roar. Another demon. Like, so many demon girls. Okay. That's got to be a fetish. There, there's got to be a fetish in Korea or Japan for demon girls. I don't know. All right, we got Cecilia. Super tank. Got that full body armor on. Looking dope. She's a princess. So if you're into royalty, there you go. If you're a bad boy, she'll give you a royal spanking. Got Rose. She's a a tank, but not really a tank. Because she sucks at being a tank. But she looks good standing there. There you go. Uh, got Euphine. If you're into some more demon stuff. Girls that are... I mean, there's one positive. Guys. Guys and girls. I know there's girls out there. There's one positive about Euphine. She's always horny. And I'm not kidding. Look at her head. She's always horny. There you go. Euphine. The horniest girl in game. Then you got Luna. Well, I don't know. I stand corrected. Maybe Luna's more horny. Yeah, she got bigger horns. So she am more horny. Luna's the horniest. I take that back. I stand corrected. Luna is absolutely the horniest in the game. There you go. So, you want some dragon tail? Literally, there you go. She's got dragon tail and she's horny. Unbelievable. Can't get much more waifu material than that. She's got tail and horns. Oops. No. 
I closed out of the journal. The journal broke down. I think we crashed the game. <laughs> we were almost done. Hold on. Where were we at? Where were we at? We were down. We were down here to Eureka. All right, we got Nemuna straight and really nothing there to you know, completely whatever. Um, and then we got Chloe. There you go. Again, don't look too close. You'll uh, you'll go to jail. Foreign land. We've got Surin. There's Surin. And Moonlight. We have pretty much most of the characters we've talked about, except different versions of themselves. So we're just going to quickly look and leave. Shadow Rose. Wanderer Silk. Looking amazing. Uh, you got Crimson Armin. Which, that outfit looks awesome. Blood Rain Karen. I love that katana with like electricity around it. Reminds me of something like Sasuke would do from Naruto. Looks just awesome. Uh, Shooting Star Achatis. There you go. Don't look too close. The cops are right behind you. Uh... Assassin Kali. And then you have doo -doo -doo -doo, the most broken character in the game. Um, even if you are a man, you can look at this and still be like, damn. Just because he's that good. <laughs> Challenger Dalmanil. Looks like she's about to go to a rave party. Um, who else we got? Uh, Judge Kisei. Which I would love to pull her on a Moonlight Summon, but I highly doubt I will. But amazing. We've got Rule of Light. Uh, we're almost done. Whew. What is Lots again? Lots is a guy, right? Yeah, no, I can't tell. I can't tell, I don't know. It doesn't say he or she. I'm just, I'm not going to even question it. I'm going to consider that an it until we have confirmation. Fighter Maya. Celestial Mercedes. The best Mercedes. Ugh. Uh, let's see. And Spectre Tenebria. Lots is a boy. I thought so. That's why it's like, mm, nope. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> and... There is Spectre 10 Abria. So we are finally done. All right, guys. So we are going to go do our summons now and get out of here. That took way too much time doing that. But I'm sure a lot of you got enjoyment out of that. I don't think anybody's actually done that ever in the game. Like went through every female character and did some funny, you know, little memes for every character and stuff like that. It was fun to do. I enjoyed doing that with you guys. So thank you so much for, uh, for doing that. That was pretty fun. I think we had a lot of fun doing that. It was pretty cool. Next time we'll do it with the guys. Just that way the ladies, it's it's fair for the ladies. So next time we'll do it with the guys. And that's when it'll get really interesting. Because we're all going to be looking at them, making funny jokes. But then we're going to feel really weird after the stream. So we're going to have to do that for the guys next. Because it's only fair to the ladies that watch the channel. It's only fair. And it's going to be very weird. But we're going to do it. We're going to get through it. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to the shop. Buy a few summons and let's get out of here. Oh my god. But guys, definitely save up 950. Don't do it the way I'm doing. I'm only doing this for you guys because we're on stream. But definitely don't do it this way. Get get that extra, you know, save those 50 Sky Stones by going to 950. Save them. Alright. So, we have six pulls here. We're going to summon on DM's banner because I've already been going into it. And I'm not really chasing five stars. I'm after three stars and four stars. So, the, the wish list here. We want to pull a Karen, a Tierra, um, pull a uh, Tarn or Guard. Ooh, what else? Uh, or Sid. So those are what we really want to pull here on this banner. Let's see if we can pull at least one of those with six pulls. Let's go. Wish me luck. Let's go. Pull Deanne on stream. That'd be hilarious. That would be hilarious. Whew. All right, guys, we're going in. Oh, yeah, light skin, I did. Oh, we got a three-star hero. Come on, be uh, right off the bat. Good stuff, Tierra. No. No, we got Adlay. Rip. Rip. I hate when a game does that. It doesn't want to, like, let me go to the next summon. There we go. Well, that probably just took all the luck we're going to get. Now we're going to get, like, five catalysts in a row, or five artifacts in a row now. 
Bro. Yep, I told you. There we go. Here we go. Here comes the artifacts from hell. The next the next ones will all be artifacts now. Oh boy. Oh, we got a three-star hero. Come on, man. Come on. No! No! I'm not another Jenna! 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 Bro! Why you do this to me, eh? Alright, we got another chance. We got another chance. Come on, Tira. Tira! Ugh! I've pulled every bad three star in this game, I swear. I think I have pulled every bad three star. <laughs> no! Come on. Oh, it's an artifact. Rip. Oh, man. We wasted all of our three star luck on. On garbage our last summon <sighs> our last summon here we go oh yeah we're gonna have to do some major farming guys we're gonna have to save up do another summon video we got to get one of them good three or four stars that's all we're after come on game give me that last summon luck yo oh come on come on come on Tyria Tyria give it to me feed it to me <laughs> oh man, Mukacha. Mukacha. No. Oh well, that's a rip. We're definitely going to have to keep going in on DN's banner because, I mean, we're already down to 95 for crying out loud. So we got seven days left for her banner. So I might as well keep going because we might eventually pull her um, at this point. But wow. <laughs> that was a rip. So our heroes right now are all three, all three star fodder. These are all garbage. We got Misty Chan, trash. Rima, trash. Rima, trash. Neminis, trash. Jack, you are just, you're beyond trash. Jenna, trash. Jenna, trash. Jenna, trash. Adelaide, trash. Montmorency, you're trash. Mukacha, Mukacha. Helga, Alexa again. Bask, you're beautiful. I love you. You're going to get locked up. <coughs> Butcher Corpse Inquisitor, trash. Aether, you are an it. And you're trash. Ross, you are soon to be trash, but I'm going to keep you because you're the main character. Oops, I didn't mean to lock you up. I meant to lock you up. And, yeah. So, Mega, Phanta Mega Phantasm, you're actually better than all these three stars. You, that's how good you are. So, you're a good, you're a good boy. Whew. M will always remain my favorite. Don't call her trash. Mercedes is still trash, Macroft. But I gotta actually, I gotta hang on to her. Uh, in case I want to feed all of her things into her. And if I ever pull Celestial Mercedes, I'll then feed her into her. So I'll just keep her locked up for now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, guys, that is gonna conclude the stream for today. We actually hit 41 or 42, I believe, is according to my analytics here. So we actually did break 40 people watching today's stream. We maintained 30 or more for the most of it. So I do appreciate you guys coming out here late at night, early in the morning, or even in the afternoon, wherever you guys are. I do appreciate it. If you guys want to see some more Epic 7, make sure to subscribe if you're new. Join us in the Discord below. Be back for the next stream. Our next Epic 7 stream will probably be on Thursday. Um, if I can farm up enough Sky Stones, I might do a summoning video slash gameplay video. For you guys on Thursday, that might be something that we can do. I'll see how much Sky Stones I can save up. If I can only get enough for like 10, I'll probably just do a video. But we will definitely be back on Thursday with another stream. Tomorrow will be uh, TCG Yu-Gi-Oh! If you guys want to check that out too if you're interested. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Hope you guys all have a great rest of the week, the rest of the day, wherever you are. Until next time, peace.